We have got a 1963 Chevy Impala. It underwent a five-year nut and bolt body off frame rotisserie restoration, just finished in 2022. We got complete uh, documentation of the process with pictures and play-by-play -play notes here. Really uh, gets pretty descriptive. Yeah, a lot of good information here. You can go to volocars.com to look at all the pictures of over 200 cars actually. They'll have price tags and descriptions, and they'll even have a monthly finance option as well. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. This one's got a 383 stroker with dual quads, got a five speed Tremec, got a 373 Posi, it's got air conditioning. The seats, genuine leather, not vinyl, leather. So let's check it out. Absolutely straight. There's absolutely no rust in the car. He spent $15,000 on new sheet metal. So there's no rust whatsoever. It's all clean, nice, clean metal. The doors, beautiful. The car is straight. Uh-oh. The latch, I don't think, clicked all the way. Quarter panel, straight, clean. All nice, straight, clean. The roof is real nice. It's all looking really good, straight, lines up nice. The gaps are real good. Now, the Impala gave these lines on the roof to look like a convertible. That's where the convertible top bows would be. All clean, straight, nice looking body. This is all real nice. Got a little chip right here in the paint. Straight, clean, nice. Let's try this door. Yeah, it shuts real nice. It is a bright red paint. It's kind of a cloudy day, and I walked up to it, and I, by myself, I said out loud, wow, this is bright red. I mean, it, it's really bright, smooth and glossy finish. I did see a few flaws as we were looking at the body. There's some little pimples right here. It's a little spot of pimples. You have that chip that I already pointed out, uh, but the red paint's all looking really good and glossy. I mean, it's really polished. <clears throat> oh, I know there might have been a few other flaws. Another little spot with some pimples right here. Very, very mild. Some pimples there, very mild. So, again, if you go looking for a few flaws, you'll find them. Anyone that walks up on this car, it looks like slick red nail polish. <clears throat> he said all of the glass was replaced. All of the trim is either new or restored. All the stainless looks polished. New door handles with the fingernail guards. Has the SS emblems and the SS trim. This is all SS with the machine turned uh, trim. All the moldings look real good. I love the round tail lights. The bumper looks new, the pan, and it has optional bumper guards, and it all looks to be in excellent shape. This has the machine turn trim all the way down the side. Fuel door trim, all nice and clean. Did I point out there's some pimples right here? I don't know if I, I think I pointed these out. So there's a couple places, mostly just on the roof uh, that I seen. Uh, I got the, the bow tie mirror, looks new, has a spotlight. You can turn from inside. <clears throat> Sitting on some 15 inch uh, American Racing Torque Thrust wheels with some BF Goodrich tires. A lot of the cars I've been doing lately have been low to the ground. This one's got a nice proud stance, got some beefy tires jacked up a little higher in back. Uh, has the optional bumper guard. Everything up here was replaced. It's all shiny, it's all straight, all looking really good. Has a mirror on the passenger door as well. So why don't we open it up? You're going to love the interior and wait till you see that engine. All right, I'm going to show you a nice trunk compartment. So look how the bottom of the trunk is painted. The inserts look nice. Jam is painted real slick. Weather strip is replaced. Now look inside. The whole inside is clean metal, all painted red. Got carpeted mats with bound edges, Velcroed down. Is a new tire for a spare on a rally wheel. I don't see a jack assembly though, so you will need a jack. But this is like brand new in here. All the wiring has some uh, you know, 
has some braided wrap around it. Looks real nice. Door jams are painted real nice. Weather strips are replaced. And if you're looking at that door panel, it looks, looks stock, right? Well, it is stock. All the stitching, the buttons, the armrests, but it's done in genuine leather. That means somebody handmade the uh, interior because when you order it, it comes in vinyl. Got a beautiful dash area, uh, factory tachometer, uh, clean speedometer and knobs and the machine turn trim, all painted nice and slick, retro stereo. Also has the padded dash, that's an option. Got some books in here. Under the dash, Neatly installed AC vents, got real nice carpet. I think the kick panels are wrapped in leather too. So this is an, oops, sorry, an original uh, center console. So it's a little worn, but I'm going to say it's pretty darn nice. Original four-speed Super Sport with a five-speed Tremec Hurst shifter sticking out of it. And again, look at these seats. See the, see the leather? all leather and it looks just like the original pattern even has the chrome piping and the buttons uh, but nice soft leather it looks like all of it the backs of the seats the sides of the seats i want to spend some money on that back seat too this is actual all genuine leather the whole entire seat chrome piping side panels are leather the armrests are leather Rear shelf is the factory style speaker grills, working lights in the headliner and in the console. Back then they were putting stars on the headliner, so if you're looking up at the stars, I think that's pretty cool. It's all new, matching visors, the mirror looks new. Nice polished wood grain wheel. And we're gonna take a quick second to thumb through the pictures. Uh, it's dated. Uh, the frame was cooked in an oven, <clears throat> shot peened, epo <clears throat> epoxy primed, uh, gloss black epoxy paint, and there's just notes through the whole process, documented with pictures. Picture says a thousand words, but you've got the words next to it uh, as well. So some really good information, and we'll condense this down into a story. Here's the whole dashes out of the car. Uh, here's just the body shell, uh, completely you know, stripped down to just a shell. I mean, it was all painted while it was apart, and just on and on. Now it's coming together. Five-year process it took to build this car. Now let's go check out that motor. We got some seat belts in here, too. Looks like the fuse panel is new under the dash. So what you're looking at is a 383 stroker motor claimed to be 600 horsepower. I can't verify that, but it does have a set of uh, Edelbrock dual four barrels up on top. With nice fuel line, electric choke, match set of Edelbrock air cleaner and valve covers. HEI ignition in back, the wires are all run neatly. It's got a set of aluminum heads hiding down there. Nice clean firewall, gloss black inner fenders, updated modern heat and air conditioning system. Batteries bolted down with a radiator and shroud and hoses. All that looks proper. Does have some chrome pulleys, chrome alternator, it's a CPP, uh, upgraded steering box, a rag joint, all that's new. It has power steering. It's got a set of headers, power brakes with a dual reservoir, an upgraded electric wiper system. It's like the squirters are hooked up, has an overflow for the radiator, the horns are hooked up, has hood insulation, everything's painted up uh, very nicely. Now Caleb's going to take you for a ride and you'll see what it's like to open up eight barrels of carburetor.
All right, 63 Impala. Man, do we have the best inventory right now out of anyone? Jay's killing it. One of my favorite cars. Big body Impala. I like the five speed in this. Uh, definitely adds for a more pleasurable drive. The clutch feels very springy. It's very on off, but it's easy to push in and out. So it takes a little bit to get used to, but so far we're gliding over the bumps. Fairly smooth. Drives pretty good so far. Trans feels really good. It's going into gears. Power brakes work real nicely. Steering feels good. We have a little bit of traffic, so we'll have to wait. Try the horn. Horn works. How about the radio? Retro radio works. Uh, it's got the vintage air in it, so old school style gauges, but fans kicking on. So that's all functional. I love how easy these electric collides are on it. Uh, the lights are functional. Can't see the spotlight. Uh, I don't know if I can't tell if that's on or not in the daylight, but I'm assuming that works too. So let's uh, get her up to speed, see how she does. Here we go. Speedometer works, tachometer's working. We're cruising 55 miles an hour, no problem. There we go. Feels pretty good over the bumps. We're driving straight. Definitely drives like an older car, and this is a more fresh restoration. Uh, so you're gonna you're gonna hear a little bit of shakedown vibrations until it's more dialed in, but feels really good overall these brakes are killer look at that doesn't pull left or right nice car idles real nicely as we're coming to a stop glides right into the gears I mean what more do you want it's, I forgot to try the turn signal so it lights up on the dash we'll see if it cancels Stunning good looks in, in this car, that's for sure. All right, cancels no problem. Yeah, there you have it. This thing's pretty dialed. So again, body off frame, taken down to a, as far as you could take down a car, and then all put back together. Absolutely no rust under the car, all clean metal, painted gloss red. All of the suspension and steering was completely uh, rebuilt. This one has tubular control arms in front, CPP, uh, tubular control arms. All the steering's rebuilt. Uh, this has the X frame, it's gloss black. The rear suspension's completely rebuilt. Bushing, shocks, uh, you name it, it's all been redone. Upgraded disc brakes in front, they're drum and back. Uh, custom exhaust system, sounds really good. Uh, new fuel tank, the fuel tank is actually shiny. The fuel lines, brake lines, they were all uh, replaced. Actually, it says the gas tank was stainless steel. Um, looking up at the motor, has an extra capacity oil pan, also has a heavy duty scatter shield, uh, five speed Tremec transmission. In back is a 373 uh, Posi gear in the rear end. Uh, so everything underneath here is redone, rebuilt. I've really stepped it up. People are walking through our showrooms and saying, unbelievable the quality of cars that we have. This is a really nice car. Probably on 98% of the classic car dealers' showrooms, this would be one of the best cars they have. 
I'm going to say it's a really, really nice car. I did point out a few of the little pimples, a few little flaw here and there. It's a really, really nice car. Perfect, no, but it is outstanding, and it has the right stuff. Stroker motor, stick shift, posi, air, red, leather interior, photo book of the restoration. This is a really nice car with all the nice features. Now you can go to volocars.com. Reach out to the salesmen. They'll help answer your questions, including how do you get this bad boy to your driveway? How do you get it financed? They'll help you with that. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.